So more and more in maybe the last month or so in the GTA 5 PC modding scene, since people have been able to import custom models into the game to actually create new cars or overwrite existing cars on more than just the texture level and to where you can actually import custom models to have brand new different cars, aeroplanes, different types of helicopters. Well, more and more we're starting to see real life vehicles, whether that be cars or helicopters. Again, I've seen a lot of on the GTA 5 mod site. We've been seeing more and more of these actually surfacing as being recreations of real life cars but with this time with the stock badges and stuff not kind of a gta 5 kind of remake of it with the kind of the parody brand for example in today's video i'm actually going to be showing you guys a replacement for the sentinel xs which is actually a bmw m3 with a wide body kit on it now as you may be able to tell straight away from the amount that i'm actually crashing in this gameplay is i'm crashing a whole lot it's not just running on the standard handling files. When you download this mod, you can also install optionally some new handling.meta files in XML or even change the vehicle meta files to be able to get certain things. For example, some of the add-ons and the custom body kit parts down the side will only come in and actually work if you install the vehicles.meta file. And to get this crazy handling like I'm actually running here, that's also then in the handling.meta file which you can either completely replace or just add a bit onto which you can copy from the code or just follow the instructions included in the readme file with this mod. Now something that's really fun with this is like I said the handling. Now you can see that it accelerates much much faster than pretty much any other car in GTA 5, any stock cars at least. And you'll also be able to see that this thing drifts seemingly around every corner now. In some of the corners I actually managed to kind of hold it and make a nice drift go around the side and keep control of it. But in a whole lot of them, I ended up just spinning out, crashing into anything around, whether it be cars or the barriers on the sides of the roads. But overall, it just takes a whole lot of getting used to, to be able to get used to handling with these new kind of options set in place. Because this handles nothing like any other car in the game. It accelerates really fast, its top speed is very, very fast, and it reaches it, obviously, much quicker. The car itself, even though I was using a controller, just felt very, very difficult to control, and much more realistic in the aspect of its much stronger acceleration. And even the sports cars in the game the stock ones do seem very much slower in terms of their acceleration and top speed than their real life counterparts but with this mod that restriction is completely removed at least for this bmw model but the reason i actually downloaded this mod and it caught my eye in the first place is just for the reason that this car looks really really good it's a perfect kind of recreation and an import from a different game i believe he didn't specify where this was made but he's brought it into the game and it looks absolutely stunning all of the reflections work well of course you can see this isn't like the early mods where we imported models where things were kind of static nothing would really move and it was just kind of a the body would ch would be changed from a different car here everything works really well the glass will break the lights work you can see the fire shooting out the back of the exhaust the body will actually take damage properly and this is just overall a really great mod which i loved playing with because while a lot of these mods do have some of the the nice kind of upgraded visuals and stuff from the standard cars in the game not that many actually include a handling or vehicle dot meta file where you can actually import that and have all of the work done for you if you don't want to go poking around with your own game files at the risk of breaking anything but this thing just overall driving it and seeing this awesome model in the game is really fun i'd love for you guys to go and download it there's of course going to be a link in the description down below so you can go and check it out there and play with it in gta 5 on pc it does of course require open iv to be able to import the ytd and the yft models into the game to make it work properly but it's actually just a really simple installation follow the readme file included and you'll have no problems anyway if you guys did end up enjoying this video be sure to go and drop a like down below as it really would help me out as always subscribe for more videos just like this coming very soon i have something very special coming this weekend just bringing back a series that you guys probably haven't seen for maybe a year or so if you watched it back in the 360 days so i'm very excited for that and finally follow me on twitter there's a link in the description down below where i post more daily gta 5 real life and graphic design content and that is pretty much it thank you guys all very much for watching my name has been flair signing out